hi my lovelies let's talk pretty girls problems okay beautiful pretty smart but not married is that what i think about myself no that's not how i see it um am i single by choice not married because i always say for as long as i'm not married i identify as single okay uh, for those of you that are always asking if i'm married you know but saying i'm single doesn't mean i'm searching or available those are two different things um <laughs> okay let's dive right in so currently i'm in greece athens and um as you all know the greek people are very attractive very open very friendly and uh i'm really having a good time but my dilemma is i'm getting this buzz from the men like they're all like how can a pretty woman like you be traveling alone well i didn't travel with my kids 94 percent of the time i travel with my kids so it saves me all these you know men that are so excited to see a pretty girl like me yes so they're like oh why are you traveling alone how how is it possible that you are not married such a beautiful woman you know and in my head i'm thinking exactly that's why i'm not married i love my life i love my freedom um but today i had a very interesting conversation with a gentleman like he was interested in me and so we we went deep into a conversation it's unfortunate i couldn't film him and uh he tried to convince me to pick a Greek man, you know, after telling him I'm from Germany, he was like, oh, you should try us the Greek men. We are much better than that German men. And to some extent, I think he's right because for all the time I've been here, I've been positively, positively impressed. The Greek people are very kind. They're very friendly. They're very charming. They're very lively. They are fun. They are flirty, you know, more flirty than the Germans. Like, for the time that I've been here, I've only, only had good moments. And uh, that is definitely true. But as for me, I'm wondering, <laughs> should I just pick myself a Greek god and get married? Absolutely not. Definitely not. But no, as we're having the conversation, I gave him my reasons why, of course, um, I love traveling alone. I love the fact that i'm enjoying my life the way i'm enjoying it without really the tie of being married and uh, i also told him well uh dating a, a pretty girl is costly you know and he was like yeah i know in greek in greece we are not so rich like in germany we don't have a lot of money <laughs> but we're very loving we're very kind and that's true you know and it's true that um everything isn't about money and love shouldn't cost the thing but if you're being honest or i'm speaking for myself love alone is not enough for me i mean look at me the kind of life that i lead the kind of life that i love uh it's not going to be enough having a hot greek god who is probably going to cook for me uh, as my husband or boyfriend because dating me is pretty costly um i love a luxury lifestyle i love good things in life and it's not that i don't have things that make me happy which don't cost money of course definitely there are things that money can't buy that mean absolutely everything to me but there's so many other things that make me happy definitely cost money lots of money so that's the dilemma for my greek men you know so before we even go on let me know in the comment section do you think pretty beautiful can also be a disadvantage you know is is what i'm experiencing now what would call pretty hearts you know like when being pretty actually acts against you because i've also had moments where men are interested in me and uh, they've met me with lots of skepticism because they're always like there's no way you're single there's no way that there's someone there not that i'm searching but when men like are flirting with you are hitting on you they're always like oh she's definitely definitely taken or married again just because you're pretty you know um so i really really want to give the greek people their flowers and um i would like to go through the positives that i've seen so far about greek people and for all the pretty ladies out there that would love a hot god to date 
to get married to i think you should give greek men a chance and this is why they are very charming very kind and friendly very attractive I had to write everything down because it's a lot they have good food and they are good cooks almost all of them can cook are probably good lovers i can't say anything to that because i've not tried any <laughs> but they probably are good lovers i mean because they're fun they're lively they're warm they're full of life so i can't imagine that they're terrible lovers so i assume they're good lovers um speaking of good lovers and them being handsome and all so today i finally decided to give a male therapist a chance normally for all the spa treatments that i've been getting i've been picking lady therapists you know female therapists so today i come to the spa and I, I book a, a treatment and then they're like, oh, for this time slot, we only have a male therapist. So at first I said no. And then I was thinking, what the heck? I mean, even your guy is a man. So I was like, let's do it. And boy, oh boy, was he good. Like he was really good. Like he did everything like he was supposed to do. It was very professional. <laughs> Before you all get excited, you know, he was very professional. He was very good. I felt like a newborn baby. Probably that's the reason like everyone maybe is crazy about me. They can tell I'm relaxed and, you know, having a good time. But he was really, really good. But again, also brings us back to all the ladies who are probably searching and would like to date. He was hot, okay? He was really, really attractive, very friendly, very, very kind. Of course, during the therapy treatments, we don't talk. But he was really kind like after the session and all that. And by the time he was done with me, with my therapy, my temperatures were really, really burning high. Okay? So if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but again, taking us back to my question of what the men always ask me, you know, and the one who told me I should try Greek men. So for me, in my case, I would have absolutely nothing. But for the time I've been here and, you know, I've traveled like, quite different cities in europe and other countries i noticed that athens in is not really the typical metropolitan city it is a poor city uh, their economy is not that strong and you can see it you can see it with their accommodation and i also have a feeling there are way too many people living in one small space okay we talk about athens the city the only very nice posh side of athens which is my thing is when you go to the south i'll be sharing uh maybe a few clips you know the seaside um it's posh and spacious but still athens for me i feel like there are more people than there is space and that is not my kind of world i don't like that i like my space it's not really much uh, cosmopolitan like i said uh so it still has some years to go and i can't see myself living here you know it wouldn't serve my standards the things that i love um and then of course we talked about dating me is costly you know i'm i'm a soft life person princess treatment and well speaking of a not so good economy i don't think a greek man would be able to give me the life that i want not that i expect the man to give me the life i do earn my own money but it helps when the man can finance your lifestyle okay um and my lifestyle is very expensive so would i would someone be <laughs> right to call me a gold digger absolutely not absolutely not but definitely i stand to my words and say i'm more of a soft life person i love a good lifestyle i love a good life so definitely if I was to date a Greek man, he would have to be really, really financially stable. And I'm not saying they're not wealthy men here. They are, but, well, I'm not searching per se. So those would be the only cons, really. But otherwise, they are really, really good people. And um, <laughs> going back to our topic, why I did this podcast about is pretty privilege or pretty hearts. This time, I would say pretty hearts. I will do the next podcast about pretty privilege it definitely definitely 100 percent exists and i'll give you all the reasons and all the receipts but right now we're talking about pretty hearts you know when everywhere you go people are like oh my god why aren't you married oh my god you're so pretty you can't be alone oh my god we're traveling alone oh my god and i was thinking guys that's exactly what i love that's exactly why i'm here otherwise i would have waited for my sons but that's the kind of life that I chose and I love it. 
so for all the pretty ladies hit the comment section let me know about your experiences of course every single one we all pretty in our different capacities there isn't a lady that isn't pretty that's what i believe and for the men let me know what you think about this topic and my thoughts my lovelies thank you so much for joining me for being a part of the thoughts of an introvert this is going to be i think our third episode in this podcast and of course you can always check out our other videos in the different playlists of navigating life until next time my lovelies thank you so much for taking the front row in my head.